Today I want to show you how to make 510 Pyro. Many of you will have heard of 510 Pyro. It's been around for many years and it's a Pyro Galol based developer formulated by Jay Defer in the US. Pyro Galol based developers stain the negatives and produce beautiful tonality. But there's other advantages too for making your own 510. For a start, unlike other Pyro developers, this is a single stock. It lasts for years. I've used this developer when it's been five, six, seven or more years old and it still works like a charm. Here's an old one I've got for you. Look at it. It goes dark like toffee, but it still works perfectly well. There's nothing wrong with this kind of color change with 510. It can also be used many ways. I often use it diluted, 1 plus 100 for FP4. I shoot it around box speed. It develops for seven and a half minutes at 20 centigrade with an initial 30 seconds of agitation and then agitation every 30 seconds. But you can also use this at 1 plus 200 with extreme minimal agitation and semi-stand development and even 1 plus 300 for stand development. This is a superb developer and I wouldn't be without it in my darkroom. It's easy to make, so let's see how. Before we jump in, let's just remind ourselves of the formula for 510 Pyro. Triethanolamine or TEA, 75 milliliters, ascorbic acid, 5 grams, pyrogalol, 10 grams, phenidone, 0.375 grams, and TEA again to top it up to 100 milliliters. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a chemical beaker and measure out 75 milliliters of TEA. You don't have to be precise with this, but 75 is just about right to get all the other chemicals in and still require a little bit of top up. None of them will dissolve in TEA easily, so we need to heat the TEA up. And the best way I've found to do that is to use the microwave. I'm gonna give it 30 seconds, and then I'm going to measure the temperature and just check that it's got to 80 Celsius. That's roughly a good temperature to be at. Now be careful because this is very hot. So wear a heat proof glove when holding this. I have a little electronic thermometer which helps to very quickly measure the temperatures. It's not quite warm enough. Let's pop it back in for a few more seconds. That should do it. So once we've got it up to our temperature of 80 Celsius, we go outside. Now there's a few reasons for this, but the main one is the pyrogalol, which is quite poisonous. You do not want to breathe that stuff in. So I'm doing all of this outside on a still day in the garden on a table. So first of all, the ascorbic acid. I've measured five grams of ascorbic acid now, sodium ascorbate does not work. Do not use that for this 510 pyro. It has to be ascorbic acid. Mix it in and dissolve it completely before moving on to the next step. Now, the next thing to add is the pyrogalol. This is poisonous. Don't get it on your hands. Don't breathe in the powder. It's quite dangerous, hence being outside. I'm measuring 10 grams of pyrogalol. This is quite old and it's a bit sticky, my pyrogalol now, but it still works absolutely fine. You want to be accurate with these measurements. I have a chemical scale. You can buy these from Amazon and other places. So once you've measured your 10 grams, carefully put it in. Don't breathe in dust. Don't get it on your skin. I have to tamp this down a little bit to get it into solution. You may find that your TEA starts to cool down too much and you can't get these into solution. Just pop it back in the microwave for another 10 seconds and try again. 
Okay, so the next thing to go in then is the phenidone. Now I've got an old bottle of phenidone here. There's not much left in it. You'll notice that the formula calls for 0 0.375 grams of phenidone. Now my scale does not measure past the first decimal place. So what I do is I measure 0.4 grams and then I take a little bit off until it gets to 0.3 and that's just about right, 0.375 grams. It's not dead accurate, but it's close enough and it works very well. As long as you do it the same way every time, you'll get consistent results. So the phenidone now dissolves in nicely and I've taken it back into the dark room. So here in the dark room, I'm now going to top it up to 100 millimeters with TEA. Now this is cool TEA, it's just at room temperature. You don't have to heat the top up. Try to be accurate with that 100 milliliters. And then once you've got that in, stir it all in. You want to really mix it all up. You can see it's quite thick. Still hot, so be careful, don't touch this and get burned. Once it's all been mixed up, we want to pop it straight into its bottle and make sure that bottle is marked up. And there we have it, 510 Pyro. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.